So we are now in the fourth quarter. So sana no, yung mga nagpapasa ng uh, outputs, requirements, sana po kompletuhin nyo na kasi mahirap mag-check ng paisa-isa. Okay. Alam nyo kaya ako sa inyo pinapasend yung mga worksheets nyo, quizzes, yung mga SS. Ano pa ba yung mga written work and performance tasks ng pa-PM. Pati yung valuing, yung outputs para pag-check ko ng pangalan nyo dun sa conversation natin. Isang check na lang. Isang check na lang. No? So, karamihan kasi lang na-check ko sa inyo lalo na sa boys, nagpasa written work lang, performance test lang, tapos papaalalahan ako pa, saka ipapasa. Medyo ano, medyo tumatagal tayo sa ganun. Okay? So, sana hindi na yun maulit ano, ngayon fourth quarter. Na sana pag nag-take kayo ng worksheet at saka ng quiz, yung mga screenshot ng mga scores nyo, isend nyo agad sa akin via PM. Ano pa, pag kayo nagpasa na ng written works, saka performance has, ipasa nyo na rin sa akin para hindi na ako mag-chat pa sa inyo. Pag natapos nyo na output nyo, ipasa nyo na agad sa akin para wala na tayong problemahin. Okay? Kasi pagdating ng fourth quarter, wala na tayong mas mahabang oras. Kaya nga yung lesson natin ngayon, <coughs> Yung lesson natin ngayong week ay yung lesson natin ngayong week ay measures of central tendency both group and and group. Okay? Sa face-to-face, -face, itong lesson na to ay tinuturo into different days or minsan tatlo, tatlong araw. Pero sa atin, syempre, online class tayo. So, ituturo ko siya sa kung ilang oras tayo meron. Okay? So, makinig po ng maigi. Please be ready with your notebook or your scratch. Pwede din much better if notebook para pag magre-review kayo, nandun lang i-review nyo. <coughs> okay? Para pag nag-worksheet kayo, tsaka nag-peace later meron kayong i-review. So, ang gagawin natin, proceed na tayo sa lesson para maintindihan ninyo agad yung, yung konsepto. Then, I'll give example para mas uh, matutunan ninyo kung ano yung tungkol sa tinuturo ko ngayong araw. So, we have here measures of central tendency for module number one. And module number 2 and 3, magkasama lang sa isang VL or video lesson. So, ito ay ungroup data. So, ano nga ba yung ungroup? Ano nga ba yung measures of central tendency? <clears throat> so, when we say ungroup, these are set of values that is not organized or classified as a group. Like, for example, um, nagbigay sa inyo ng set of numbers, 15 numbers. At ang sabi, yung 15 numbers na yun ay scores. Okay? Those are not organized and they are not classified in a group. Therefore, they are ungrouped data. And most of the ungrouped data ay mga, ang dami nila, yung dami ng data na meron kayo or values na meron kayo is usually less than 30. Okay? So like for example, I have 20 students and I get their scores. Yung mga scores nila na yun, ungroup yun because it is not organized. Okay, mamaya makikita nyo yung mga examples natin. Makikita nyo yung difference ng organized at not organized. Okay, ano pa? How about the measures of central tendency? When we say measures of central tendency, these are the value or this is a value that represents the whole set of data. So, ano ba yung mga kukunin natin 
for us to have the measure of central tendency. Kukunin natin yung mean, yung median, at saka yung moon. I am very much sure na you already know about the mean median mode kasi nung grade 7 kayo, meron kayong uh, mean median mode. Naaalala ko. And when we say mean, median, and mode, the, we they are called measures of central tendency because we are looking at a number, a data, that will represent the whole set of data. So parang sa grade ninyo, di ba? Pag nagko-compute kayo or pag nakita nyo yung grades ninyo, you tend to solve for or compute for the average, right? You are solving for the average, computing for the average. Bakit? Because that average represent the whole set of data. Ano whole set of data yon? That average represents all your grades in different subject areas. Kaya nga, di ba, doon natin nalalaman if you are an honor, kaya naman at the end of the school year, makaka-receive ka ng, ng certificate because you are, you receive, you performed well or you achieved a very high grade this school year. Diba? So yung nag-iisang grade na yun represents all the different subject areas. So yung average na yun uh, also is another term natin. Ano ba yung mean? When we say mean, of ungrouped data, it is obtained by adding all the values divided by the frequency of the set of data. Like for example, kung, kung ang grade nyo sa different subjects, by the way, pag nag-add kayo ng grade or nagko-compute kayo ng average, kung magko-compute po kayo ng average, ang isasama nyo lang as yung pinaka-grade ninyo sa map eh. Okay? Now, for example, ito yung set of grades ninyo. So, kunwari 85, 90, 88, 85, 87, 86, 91. Ilan na ito? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And 95. Okay? Ito yung mga grade mo, no? For us to find the mean... Ang sabi dito, we have to add all of the values. So, i-add natin yan. Pag in-add natin yan, ano magiging sum nila? For you to get the mean, or mali ako ng mong symbol, for you to get the mean, you had to add the values divided by the frequency. Ilan silang lahat? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 po silang lahat. I-add natin sila, 85 plus 90 plus 88 plus 85 plus 87 plus 86 plus 91 plus 95. So what will be the sum? Sige nga, pakicompute. 707. 707. Divided by 8. 88.38 So dahil 88.38 yan, remember na kapag maglalagay tayo ng, lalagay ako ng grade sa, sa card, 88 lang yan, okay? Pero we will accept 88.38. Ibig sabihin, your average is 88.38. Okay? So, ganun po yung process on how to find for the mean of ungrouped data. All you have to do is to add all of the data and then you divide that kung ilan silang lahat. Dahil walo sila, dinivide ko sila sa M. Okay? Nakakaintindihan po. May question po ba sa mean? of ungroup data? Meron o wala? Wala po. Wala po. So, dahil 88.38 yan, 
ano kapag ang gusto ko 90 yung average ko? At sabihin na natin na hindi binigay yung grade sa math. O, kunwari ito yung grade niya sa math. Yung 88. Kunwari hindi siya binigay. And I want to be an honor student. Ano kaya yung pwedeng grade ko sa math para maging 90 ito? Sige nga, sa tingin nyo, ano kaya yung pwedeng grade ko sa math para maging 90 yung average ko? Sige. Yeah. So, pwede tayo mag-try ng ibang, ano, no? ng ibang um, grade. So, sa so tingin niya, ano kaya ang grade yung best na ilagay ko dyan? 85 plus 90 plus, anong grade ilalagay ko? 97 po. 97? Pag 97 ba, sarado, 90 agad yung average? Add natin, no? 97 na yung sagot. Try natin yung 97. So, we have 85 plus 90. Paki-add nga po. Plus 97 plus 85 plus 87 plus 86 plus 91 plus 95. Divide natin siya sa 8. Ay, pat yan nun. <laughs> May iba akong napindot eh. Ma'am, 89.5 pa lang. 89.5 ang average niya? Yes, ma'am. Yes po. And this can be uh, rounded off to the nearest full number and that is 90. So pwede na yan, ano? So ang grade mo dapat sa math ay 97 for you to get 90. Okay. So, yung una ang ginawa natin, we add the, the values. So, um, ano nga yung nakalagay dito kanina? Ilagay natin, no? Ano yung nakalagay natin dito kanina ng grade niya sa math? May balik ka rin mo na lang. 88. Okay. So, 88. Yan. So, makikita niyo yung difference nilang dalawa. Bakit? Kasi dito, um, yung average niya mas mababa. Bakit? Mas mababa kasi yung grade niya sa math. Dito, average niya mas mataas kasi mas mataas yung grade niya sa math. Okay? So, ganito po yung way on how to get the average and yung way on how to get the number that is missing. Okay, tulad nun, ang ginawa natin is we still don't know what is the grade in math. So, we look for that number na dapat ang magiging average natin ay 90%. Okay, or 90. Okay, so do you have any question regarding the mean of ungrouped data? All you have to do is to add the data and then divide it to the number of data that you have or you add it. So let me clear all the drawings and then let's proceed. Okay, next. So the mean of ungrouped data is also called the average. So yung averaging, yung process ng averaging, yun yung tawag natin. And it is also written in this form. This is the formula. The mean is represented by this symbol equals the summation of x or sum of x divided by m. So the symbol means it is the mean. Itong symbol na to, yung sigma na may kasunod na x, is the sum of all the values in set. Yung n naman natin, yung small n, is the total number of frequency. Yeah. The next... Um, how about this? Let us find out what is the mean of this data. Ano yung mean nito? So, ano yung gagawin natin? We have, eh, the mean is equal to, yan ba lahat yan? 
Kaya tayo mag, ano, mag-solve. It's equal to, i-add na lang natin yan lahat. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7. I-add natin. Add plus, 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 plus. So, ano yung magiging sum nila? Divided by 7. What will be our answer? Ma'am, 573 divided by 7. Divided by 7. 81.85. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81.86. 81
all you have to do is to add one to the number of data. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight yan. Mag-add lang tayo ng one and i-divide natin siya sa two. Bakit tayo nag-add ng one at divide by two? Kasi ilolocate natin yung middle, yung gitna. So this will be nine divided by two which is equal to 4.5. So, yung 4.5, nasan ba siya? 1, 2, 3, 4. Point 0.5. So, nandito si 4.5. Okay, nandyan siya. In the middle of 4 and 5. If that is the case, ano lang yung gagawin natin? Dahil dyan, dalawa sila ni John natin. Okay? Eh, kailangan isa lang yung value. So, anong gagawin natin doon? Ang gagawin natin is i-add natin sila, 85 plus 88, divide natin sa 2. This will give us 173. Tama? It's 173 divided Bakit? by 2. Bakit? Bakit? Sige, tama. Sige, what is 173 divided by 2? 86.5 po. Opo, it's 86.5. Ibig sabihin po niyan, ang median natin, which is um, represented by this symbol, is equal to 86.5. Okay, so yan yung symbol natin for median. Ma'am, oh. may tanong po. Sige po. Ma'am, paano po kung yung, yung parang total, di ba ma'am, 8 po kasi sila, paano po kung 7 lang po sila, kailangan pa po bang mag-add ng 1? Or hindi na? Actually, kung konti lang naman yung data mo, hindi mo na kailangan eh. Kailangan lang make sure na nasa gitna siya. Nagkataon kasi dito na yung gitna natin ay dalawa dahil even, even number, yung number of data natin. Kaya tayo nagkaroon ng dalawang middle value. Pero tulad nga nung sinasabi niya, paano kapag... Um, hindi dalawa yung middle value natin. Kunwari, isa lang. Or should I say odd numbers yung ating number of data. Kunwari, 1, 6, 3, ay, gawin ko ano na, magkakasunod na. 1, 3, 5, 5, 6. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yan. So, nine yung data natin. And kung ilolocate natin yung gitna niyan, malalaman agad natin, no? One, two, three, four, five. So, ito yung gitna natin. Makikita nyo, gitna siya kasi apat yung data dito, apat din yung data dito. So, pantay. No? Pwede rin, na, pwede rin tayo mag-add ng one. 9 plus 1 divided by 2, which is 10 divided by 2 equals 5. So, ibig sabihin, yung pang fifth data, yun po yung gitna ninyo. First, second, third, fourth, fifth. So, ito yung pang fifth data ninyo. Ibig sabihin, yan po yung, yan po yung median natin, which is 6. Okay? So, para saan ba tong pag a ng 1? Yung pag add natin ng 1 is for us to find kung pang ilang data siya. Okay? Tulad nito, pang 5th data, ito pang 4.5 na data. So, ibig sabihin na sa pagitan siya ng 4th at ng 5th data. Okay? So, dalawa yung cases dyan. Pwedeng even yung number of data mo, magiging dalawa yung gitna. Or kaya naman add, magiging isa lang yung gitna mo. Okay? So, kapag um, in-arrange na siya at konti lang yung data mo, mas madaling malaman kung pang ilan doon yung middle. Pero kapag nasa more than 10, 
yung data mo or more than 15. Tapos, uh, aalamin mo kung ano yung gitna or yung middle value. Ikaw, nasa sayo kung kailangan mo pang mag-add ng one or simply you locate the values na nasa gitna. Kailangan nyo lang tandaan na dapat kung gitna yan, tulad nito, gitna siya. Dapat pareho yung bilang ng nasa kanan at nasa kaliwa niya. Pareho yung bilang ng data. Masasabi mo lang na yun yung data. Or simply, pwede ka rin mag-add ng one. And malalaman mo kung pang ilan siya dun sa data na meron ka. Basta huwag niyo pong kakalimutan na i-arrange muna yung data bago kayo mag-locate ng middle value. Kasi napansin ko dun sa iba, kaya sila namamali dito sa part na to dahil hindi nila nalolocate yung middle value. Hindi kasi naka-arrange. Okay? Do you have any questions sa me, Jen? Wala na po. If not, I will clear all the drawings para makapag-proceed tayo sa next lesson. We are done with um, the median. We will now proceed to, you know, sabi niya, if, the, if it is even, the median of the data is the mean of the two middle values. So, yun yung ginawa natin kanina. Okay? So, alam niyo na yan. Okay, next. Na madali natin to kasi madali lang naman te yung measures of central tendency ng ang group. How about for the mode? Yung mode naman is the most occurring data, okay, in the set of values. Ibig sabihin, uh, kung sa grade, para mas maintindihan ninyo, kung sa grade yan, ito yung grade mo na Pare-pareho, kunwari, pare-parehong 83, pare-parehong 85, pero may certain number. Okay, sa so set of data, kung mas marami si 83 kesa kay 85, kunwari, tatlo si 83, dalawa lang si 85, then the rest, tigi isa na lang, 83 tayo. Okay, so 83 yung mode mo. So let us have example here. Uh, kunwari, ano ulit, great. Um, 81, 82, 83, anong sunod sa 83 kanina? 85, plus 88, 88, 88, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, tapos diba yung last is 90. So, yan. So, alin dyan yung naulit ng ilang beses? 88 po. 88 po, correct. So, yung 88 po natin dito, ibig sabihin, yan po yung mode natin. Bakit siya yung mode? Kasi siya yung naulit ng tatlong beses. O kaya naman, ang tawag natin dyan is the value that most frequently appears in the set of data. Okay? So, yan yung value that frequently appears in the set of data. Now, Yung mode natin is represented by this symbol and we will write 88. Okay. So our mode is 88. Eh, paano kapag? Oh, kunwari, uh, in-include natin or... Sabihin na natin hindi to grade. Kunwari ano to, score to sa exam na over 100. Kunwari na dagdagan siya na 81. Na dito na sa baba ilagay. Kunwari 81, 81, 82, 82, 83, 85, 88, 88, 90, 91. Kunwari yan yung set of data natin. And we have to identify ano po yung um, mode natin. So again, the mode is the most frequently uh, occurring data. 
So ilan beses na ulit yung mga data natin? Yung 88 natin, dalawang beses. I mean, yung 81, dalawang beses na ulit. Or dalawang be- dalawa yung 81 natin, dalawa yung 82, at dalawa rin yung 80. So ano yung magiging mode natin dyan? Pagdating dyan, no? So yung magiging mode natin dyan ay 81, 82, and 88 kasi pare-pareho sila ng bilang okay pare-pareho yung bilang ng ng data natin sa 81, 82, 88 pare-pareho silang tigda dalawa yung data sa given set of data na meron tayo okay so possible na ang maging mode ninyo ay isa dalawa tatlo, apat, lima, and so on. Depende po sa data na meron kayo. Kapag ganun po, kailangan ninyong tandaan na meron tayong tinatawag na classification. Meron tayo ng color. Meron tayong tinatawag na classification of mode. Anong classification of mode? Yan ay nakadepende kung ilan yung mode na meron ka. Tulad nung una, meron tayong isa lang. Kapag isa lang, unimodal. Paano kapag dalawa? Siyempre, bimodal. E paano kung tatlo? Apat, lima, and so on. Ang tawag na natin doon ay multimodal. Okay, so ito, isa lang yung mode mo, ito dalawa, ito three or more. Naintindihan po sa mode? Do you have any questions sa mode? Wala na po. Wala na po. So, yun po yung mean, median, and mode ng ungrouped data. Very easy, kayang-kaya ninyo. Okay? Now, let me clear all the drawings. And then, let us proceed to the next lesson. So, ganun lang po kasimple yung mean median mode na ungroup. Kasi konti lang yung data, kasi not organized yung data natin doon. Kaya mas mabilis. How about for... The measures of central tendency, yung mean, median, at mode ng group data. Una, <clears throat> tandaan mo na ninyo yung goal natin. Yung goal ninyo ngayong araw, goal natin is for you to determine the measures of central tendency when the data is grouped using frequency table or frequency distribution table. And find the mean, median, and mode of group data. Okay? Wait lang ah. Check ka lang yung attendance natin. Wait lang. Ano 
May modular ba kayo? Wala. Wala na kayo modular? Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Magkakaroon muna tayo ng 15 minutes break para mamaya dere-derecho kasi mahaba yung susunod na lesson. Okay, 15 minutes break. So, balik tayo ng 9-10. Pwede kayong mag-almusal ano, mag ng konti, inom ng tubig, CR, okay?
Diyan na ba kayo? Nandiyan na ba yung sa messenger? Messenger, nandiyan na kayo? Kunti lang sumasagot ha. Isa, isa zoom, nandiyan na ba? Opo. Yung iba, may sumasagot yung iba eh. Iba naglalag na, no? Opo. Okay. I think pwede na tayo mag-start. <coughs> Start na tayo. So, for module number 2 and 3, kasama na itong dalawa, we are going to discuss the measures of central tendency of group data. So, ganun din, mean, mood, pero the difference here is The difference here is, <clears throat> yung data natin dito, mas marami. At the same time, they are grouped. Ibig sabihin, they are organized tulad nitong mga to. So, itong pinag-uusapan natin dito is a data that shows the ages of first 55 confirmed COVID-19 cases tested in the Philippines. So, we have to find the mean, the median, and the mode. So as you can see, meron tayo ditong table. Yung una contains the ages of the COVID-19 patients. So that meron tayo dyan nakalagay na 80 to 89, 70 to 79, meron ding hanggang 20 to 29. Okay? So ito yung a lower lower uh, values ng age or lower ages. Ito yung sa pinakamataas na ages na meron tayo dito sa ating table. Ang tawag natin sa mga yan ay classes or class. Okay? So, ilang classes ba ang gusto natin? So, next time ko na lang siguro ituturo sa inyo yung how to make the table, this kind of table, pag susunod na lesson natin kasi importante yung minijan mode. No? kung paano siya ginagawa, ituturo ko siya sa inyo next time. Kasi dito, given naman na yung mga tables natin. And then, yung kabila naman natin na column is the frequency. So, pag frequency, ibig sabihin yung bilang, yung dami ng tao na merong age na nasa bracket na to. Okay, so meron tayong tatlong tao, tatlong patient na nag-positive, na-confirm sa COVID-19 under the age of 80 to 89. Meron namang pito na 70 to 79, 11 na 60 to 69, and so on. Okay, yun yung ibig sabihin ng ating table. So ang gagawin natin ngayon is we will look for the mean. And for us to do that, you have to first um, be familiarized with... Um, different terms that we use in getting the mean. Ano yun? So, malalaman yun according dito sa ating formula. So, yung formula natin is mean equals the sum. Itong sigma na to, meaning the sum, we have to add the sum of frequency times the class mark divided by n. 
So, yung frequency natin dyan represented by F, yung class part natin is represented by X, divided by N, yung total number of population or total number of data. Okay? So, later malalaman nyo, ano ba yung F na yan? Ano ba yung X na yan? Ano ba yung sinasabi na product of frequency and corresponding class mark? Ano yung class mark? And, of course, ano yung N? Okay? So, makikita nyo sa table, given na yung I natin. Yung I na to means the interval. When we say interval, asa na yung aking uh, ball pen? Hindi ko siya nakikita. Ayan. So, pag sinabi natin um, I, yun yung interval ng 80 to 89. Ibig sabihin, di ba meron tayong 80, 81, 82, 83, hanggang 89. Ilan yan lahat? Bilangin ninyo lahat to. Hanggang 89. 10. 10. So yun po yung interval natin. Meaning, you started with the lower class limit, which is 80. Yun yung lower class limit natin. At yung upper class limit natin is 89. Bibilangin mo lahat. Ilan yung yung, yung data na meron tayo dyan, or should I say that the ages na meron tayo na comprises nitong bracket na ito. Yung tinatawag natin na, na I, yung interval. So, saan po yung interval natin, okay? Now, ito yung frequency natin, at yung N dito means the total number of um, data. Ayan yung data na. Okay, pag inad nyo lahat, yan ay 55. How about for the class mark? Yung class mark natin, for you to get the class mark, you have to add the lower lower class limit and the upper class limit. Okay? And then, i-divide natin siya sa 2. Ano yung ibig sabihin nun? Ibig sabihin, si lower class limit na 80 at si upper class na 89, i-add natin, and then i-divide natin siya sa 2. So, 80. Pwede tayo na kulay ng pen. So, we have 80 plus 89 divided by 2. What is the answer? 84.5 po. 84.5. So, yun yung class mark natin. How about 70 to 79? Seventy-four point five. Seventy-four point five. And yung next, we have sixty-four point five, fifty-four point five, forty-four point five, thirty-four point five, and twenty point five. Okay, twenty-four. Twenty-four. Dapat twenty-four point five. Okay, so yan yung class mark natin. We got that from adding the lower class limit and the upper class limit divided by 2. How about yung F tsaka yung X? Yan ay frequency times the class mark. So again, ating class mark natin, ating class mark natin, ating frequency natin that is represented by F. So ang gagawin lang natin, yung multiply lang natin sila. So, I want you to multiply and then tell me your answer. So, ito, we represent that as F. Ito, frequency times class part. Okay, so what will be our answer? 3 times 84.5. 253.5 po. 253.5, sunod? 521.5 po. Sunod? 709.5. Correct, next. 654 po. Sunod? 
276 po. 276. And the last one is? 124.5. 124.5 times 5, 122.5. So, paano natin makuha? Ano yung, ano yung importansya nito? Why is it important for us to get the value of this? Uh, why is it important for us to get the class mark and to multiply them? Okay, so ang formula po kasi natin to find the mean is the summation of the product of frequency and class mark divided by n. Ibig sabihin, i-add natin to to get their sum of their product at yun yung i-divide natin sa n. At ito yung n natin. So, ano po yung sum nilang lahat? Ano po yung sum? Ano po? 200, ay no? 2,000 po. 2,000. 2,000. 37.5. Okay. So yan yung sum ng ating product ng frequency at damilawan eh. So this is 2,937.5 divided by our N, which is 35. What will be our mean? Fifty three point forty one. Fifty three point forty one. So this is our. So our answer is fifty three point forty one. Dahil ang pinag-uusapan natin ay vision. Okay. Patient, ang pinag-uusapan natin, ibig sabihin, uh, we are going to consider 53 or pwede rin ng 53.41 dahil ito ay ages. Okay, so yung, so yung age po ng ating mga patient is around or yung average ng age ng mga patient na nagkakaroon ng COVID-19 is 53.41. Okay. So pag sinulat niya sa worksheet, again, 53, tapos tuldok, tapos 41. Huwag na maglagay ng space kahit saan. So may question po ba? May question pa tungkol dito sa mean? 
Can we now proceed to the media? Wala po. Okay. So we will now proceed to the media. Uh, let me clear all the drawings. Then proceed tayo sa yeah. How about for the media? So media naman, ito po yung formula. So, mukha lang sa komplikado, pero pag na naintindihan nyo ano yung ibig sabihin ng mga yan at yung pinanggalingan ng mga yan, madali lang po siya. Actually, yung lesson natin for fourth quarter ay sobrang, sobrang dali lang at kayang-kaya na yun, yun na. Um, compared to the other lessons that we have in different quarters. So, dito sa ating median, we have this symbol for the median. Median is equal to the lower boundary of the median class. Plus, <clears throat> then plus the quantity of n minus or n divided by 2 minus the commutative frequency less than or below the median class divided by the frequency of the median class times the i or the interval. Okay, so yun po yung ibig sabihin ng mga symbols niya. So yung LB natin means lower boundary at yung M natin, subscript means lower boundary ng median class. So makikita nyo meron tayong median class dito. Dito naman meron tayong less than commutative frequency below or lower than the median class. Mamaya maintindihan nyo kung saan nakukuha yung mga yan. And we have the frequency of the median class and yung I natin is the class size or the interval. Okay. So pag um, actually yung table kanina mostly kapag nagsasaw tayo ng median mode, magkakadugtong to sila. So ito yung kadugtong kanina ng class mark or nung, nung FX. Okay, ito yung kadugtong nila. Kaya lang syempre sa table natin, sa, sa presentation, hindi magkakasya. So pinaghiwalay sila ngayon. Okay, so yung lower boundary natin is um, the difference of the lower limit tapos yung 0 0.5. So anong gagawin natin doon? <coughs> So, para makuha natin yung para makuha natin yung lower boundary all we have to do is to subtract from the lower um, limit lower class limit or lower limit na 0 0.5 okay so alin ba diyan yung mga lower limit natin or lower class limit and ito po yung mga yon Guessing ko lang kasi baka lumampakas yan. So, yung mga yan po, yan yung tinatawag natin na lower limit or lower class limit. Magsasubtract lang tayo dyan ng 0 0.5 and yun na po yung lower boundary. So, 80 minus 0 0.5 is... <clears throat> 79.5 po. 79.5. Ito, 69.5, 59.5. Forty-nine point five, thirty-nine point five, twenty-nine point five, and nineteen point five. Lahat yan ang galing dito. Nag-subtract tayo ng point five. Bakit siya tinawag na lower boundary? Lower boundary siya kasi if you have seventy-nine point five, if we round this up, we consider that as the eight, as eighty. Okay, kaya siya tinawag na lower boundary. Ibig sabihin siya siya included pa rin in this um bracket okay now how about the cumulative frequency less that ito naman po ay pwedeng gawin ng pababa or pataas either of the two ang kailangan nyo lang tandaan is that yung pinakataas pinakamataas na na class which is 80 to 89 dapat po yung cf niya ay kung ilan yung ating n. Okay? At yung baba naman, yung mababang limit natin or kaya naman bracket natin which is 
20 to 29, dapat kung ano yung frequency niya, yun din yung CF niya. Okay, so dyan tayo magsisimula sa dalawang yan. And matcha-check din natin dito kung tama ba yung number of data natin dito. Okay, so that is 55 para makuha natin yung mga susunod pa na cumulative frequency. Then, magsasubtract tayo. <clears throat> Ano pa yung subtract natin? Kung ano yung frequency ng class na yun? So ito, we have 55 minus 3, that's 52. 52 minus 7, that's 45. 45 minus 11, we have 34. 34 minus 12 is 22. 22 minus 9 is 13. 13 minus 8 is 5. So as you can see, Tama yung ating total number of population and tama din yung ating cumulative frequency sa, sa pinakamababang class. Okay? And that is 5. So, ganun po yung process. Subtract, lagay, subtract, lagay, subtract, lagay. And hanggang maging pareho yung frequency ng lower or lowest class natin dun sa ating CF. Pwede rin siya papaligtad, ano? Uh, kapag ganun po yung process, pwede ka mag-start dito, mag a ka naman. 5 plus um, 8, 13. Plus 9, 22. Plus 12, 34. Plus 11, 45. Plus 7, 52. Plus 3, 55. So pwede rin yan. Okay? So, kaya nga sabi ko, pwede siya pataas, pwede siya pababa. Ano lang ang kailangan yung tandaan? Kailangan nyo lang tandaan kung nasaan yung upper class or should I say the highest value of ages or yung bracket. Kasi sa bracket natin, makikita nyo naman dyan. May mga values. So, ito yung pinakamatataas na values ng ages or ages, pinakamatataas na ages. At ito naman yung pinakamababang ages. Lagi yung tatandaan, yung may pinakamababang ages, dapat pareho yung frequency dun sa CF. At yung pinakamataas na bracket, kung ano po yung, freak, uh, kung ano po yung CF niya, yun po yung N or the frequency. Kasi pwedeng balikta rin to. Pag binaliktad yan, ang magiging itsura na niyan, ganito na. 20 to 29, tapos yung mga sumunod hanggang sa makaabot tayo ng 80 to 89. So balikta din ang paggawa mo niyan. Dito ka magpa 5, 5 plus 8, 13, and so on up to 55. So ganun. Okay. Do you have any question? Para kung may question kayo ang sasagutin. Wait lang may kakusap.
May question pa ba dito sa cumulative frequency? Wala na po. Wala na po. So, clear ko lang yung ibang hindi natin kailangan para makapag-solve na tayo. Na hindi siya magulo, tignan mamaya. So, after yan, syempre, you already know the lower boundary, you already know the cumulative frequency, and you will be using this later on sa ating um, getting the median. Okay, so we are done with the mean, so dito na tayo sa median. So, para makuha natin yung median, of course, we have to use the formula. Ano yung formula natin? Median is equal to LB. Biyata ka siya dito sa ano, ano. Gamit ako ng block. Sana makita. So we have median is equal to LB of the median class plus N divided by 2 minus the cumulative frequency below divided by the frequency of the median class times I. Okay, so, siguro naman nakikita nyo. Now, try natin yung violin. Ay, hindi nakikita. So, identify natin ngayon kung ano yung mga values ng bawat terms. So, dito muna tayo sa LB ng median class. So, as you can see, meron tayo dyan binabanggit na median class. So, Yung class na yun, ibig sabihin, pipiliin natin siya. Hindi natin siya pipiliin na, but we need to do something first before we identify or determine kung alin dito yung median class natin. Okay, so ano yun? Yung part na yun is yung part na to na n divided by 2. So yung median class natin is, should be based on our n divided by 2. Our n here is 55, and if you divide that to 2, ang magiging answer ay 
35 divided by 2. What is 55 divided by 2? 27.5. 27.5. So, dahil yan ay 27.5, hahanapin natin tong 27.5 or we will identify, determine the CF. Doon natin siya titignan. Sa CF natin siya titignan kung saan included si 27.5. So, ito yung CF natin, yung cumulative frequency. At si 27.5, hindi pwede kay 22 kasi kulang. Hindi pwede kay 45 kasi sobra-sobra and so on. Ang pwede lang natin pagpilian is si 34. Or pwede lang natin iselect is si 34. Dito included si 27.5. At dahil dyan, yan po yung magiging... Uh, awag natin dito, median class. Ayan. So, ang ating median class ay yung 50 to 59. Again, pag namili kayo ng median class or hindi kayo mamili kasi eh, you have to first get the end. You divide that to 2, and then after that, kapag nakuha nyo na yung answer, tingin kayo dito sa cumulative frequency, ilocate nyo kung saan siya included. Hindi siya pwede sobra-sobra, as in yung, yung katulad nitong 45, 52, and 55. Hindi rin pwedeng so, uh, kulang na kulang. Okay, so doon tayo sa pinakamalapit sa kanya. Pinakamalapit kay 27.5 na hindi kulang. Okay. Then after that, after natin i-identify yung median class, saka lang natin makukuha ni yung mga values nito. So ano ba yung lower boundary ng median class natin? So ang lower boundary ng median class natin ay 49.5. Now, ano naman yung CF below? Yung cumulative frequency below. Ibig sabihin nun, ito yung cumulative frequency mo. Ano yung below? Yan. Okay, so ito yung cumulative frequency mo. Ano yung below ng cumulative frequency mo? And that is 22. So yung answer natin dito is 22. Now, how about for the frequency? Alam na alam nyo na yan. Yung frequency ng median class. Ito po yun. Yung... And how about yung I? Yung I natin, alam na alam nyo na yan, that is 10. Okay? Tapos magsasubstitute na tayo, no? Burahin ko lang tong si 27.5. Yan. So, pag nagsubstitute na tayo, ang gagawin lang natin is copy the formula or pwede na natin i-direct. So, LV is 49.5 plus... Ano yung N divided by 2 natin? That is 27.5. Kasi ko lang, litang ko yung spaces para uh, magkasya. So we have median is equal to 49.5 plus we have here 27.5 minus 22. Substitute lang natin siya. Sumobra ako sa layo kay 22, no? Divided by yung ating frequency, which is 12, times our I, which is 10. So, kapag sinob nyo to, syempre, duma na kayo sa, sa pinakaloob. We have 27.5. 27.5 minus 22. Ano yung answer natin doon? That is 5.5 divided by 12. What is 5.5? Divided by 12 times 10. Pwede nyo na yung derecho. 5.5 divided by 12 times 4. 10. 4.58. So that is 4.58. I-add natin siya ngayon kay 49.5. Ano yung magiging answer natin? 4.58? 4.08. 54.08. 
Okay. So we have our mean is 54.08. So as you can see, yung median ng ages ng mga patient natin is 52.08. Naintindihan po ba how to get the median? Using this? Okay. Apo. Okay. Pwede ko na tumburahin. Let us clear all the drawings. Ayan. So, yung CF natin ay... Ayan. Then, after that, identify mo na yung median class. Dahil na-identify mo na yung median class, makukuha mo na yung mga values. Substitute lang natin. And we get 54.08 as our answer. How about for the mode, the group data? Ano yung pinagkapareho nila? Ang pinagkapareho nila ni Mijan is pareho sila ng, ng kailangan na data. Okay, so wala masyadong, kumbaga ang data na kailangan nila is yung lower boundary na pareho. Pero yung CF, hindi kailangan ng mode ng CF. Ang kailangan niya lang frequency at yung lower Boundary. Yun lang po yung kailangan niya. Okay? So, ito yung makikita nyo sa formula niya. The median, I mean the mode, the mode is equal to the lower boundary of the modal class. So, meron din tayong class dito. Plus the difference, difference yan, difference sub 1, divided by difference sub 1 plus difference sub 2 times the I or the interval. So, Yung makikita nyo dyan na symbol na to is mode. Ito ay lower boundary of the modal class. Then yung D sub 1 natin, you already know that. Difference ng frequencies ng modal class. And the next lower. Yung D sub 2 natin is the difference between the frequencies of the modal class. And the next upper class. And yung I natin, alam na alam nyo naman yun that that is the class size. Okay. So makikita nyo dito sa table, ang meron lang tayo ay frequency, yung, yung, yung mga classes, yung frequency at yung lower boundary. So you already know how to get the lower boundary. All we have to do is to subtract 0 0.5 from the lower class limit at meron na tayong lower boundary. At paano naman yung magiging flow ng ating solution dito? So, magiging flow ng ating solution dito ay, wait lang, bago tayo ng kulay. So, yung formula natin is, mode is equal to the lower boundary of the modal class plus P1 divided by P1 plus P2 times the I, which is, yeah. Ito lang makikita, no? Dito natin. And then after that, syempre kailangan natin malaman ano yung lower boundary of the modal class. Ano yung lower boundary ng modal class? Ano yung D sub 1? Ano yung D sub 2? And ano yung I? So para malaman natin yung modal class, we have to first identify, alin ba dito may pinakamataas na frequency? So, ang pinakamataas na frequency dito ay 12. Dahil dyan, ayan po yung magiging modal class natin. 
Okay? So, yung modal class natin ay nakadepende sa frequency. Kung ano yung pinaka, or anong class yung may pinakamataas na frequency. Doon natin i-identify kung ano yung magiging lower boundary natin. Since ito yung ating modal class, tinatawag na natin siya na modal. Since alam na natin na ito yung modal class natin, yung lower boundary niya ay 49.5 at yung I natin ay 10. How about the D sub 1? Ang D sub 1 natin is the difference between the frequencies. Difference between the frequencies ng ano. So, tandaan nyo ha yung D sub 1 tsaka D sub 2 kasi mostly na student ko, kahit naman ako pag na, pag na-review ko to, may little factor pa rin ako sa D sub 1 tsaka sa D sub 2. Kung alin ba dyan yung D sub 1, alin ba dyan yung D sub 2. Tatandaan nyo na again, yung, yung 20 to 29 natin is the lowest age. 80 to 89 natin is the highest age. So makikita nyo na yung 50 to 59 yung lower age sa kanya or yung lower class sa kanya is 40 to 49. Yung upper class or mas mataas na class sa kanya is 60 to 69. So that has something to do with the difference. Yung D sub 1 kasi natin is yung difference, yung frequency nitong ating <clears throat> modal class and the lower class. So yung difference nilang dalawa Ah, gamit ang ibang kulay. So, yung difference nitong dalawa will be our D sub 1. So, yung D sub 1 natin, ayan. Okay? How about yung D sub 2? Yung D sub 2 naman natin is the difference between the um, frequency of the class, the modal class, and the upper. Okay? So, ito naman yung sa upper class. So, subtract natin. Okay. So, ano yung magiging solution natin dyan? Ang D1 natin ay 12 minus 9, while ang D2 natin ay 12 minus 11. Walang negative answer dyan, ha? Tandaan. Kasi yung kinuha natin ay yung class na may pinakamataas na frequency. Kaya wala kayong makukuha dyan na negative answer. So, 12 minus 9 is 3. 12 minus 11 is 1. Ngayon, we have the lower boundary, we had the D sub 1, the D sub 2, and the I. Pwede na natin siya i-substitute sa formula. So, ano yung magiging mean, mean, uh, mode natin? We have the lower boundary, which is 49.5 plus 3 over 3 plus 1 times, times I, which is 10. Now, what is 3? Divided by 3 plus 1 times 10. Pwede nyo na yan i-direction i ng calcul. Doon mo na kayo sa 3. 0 0.75. 0 0.75 divided by 4. 3 divided by 4 is 0 0.75 times 10. Times 10. 7.5 po. 7.5. So ulitin ko ha. So this is 3 divided by 3 plus 1 which is 4. So 3 divided by 4 is 0 0.75 times 10 is 7.5. Add natin siya sa 49.5. We have 57. 57. So yung ages ng nagpa-positive sa COVID-19, yung first 55, karamihan doon ay at the age of 57. Okay, so yun po yung ibig sabihin ng no ating mode. Okay, so ganun lang. That is how you solve for the mode, the mean and median of group data. Ma'am, 
Paano po nakukuha yung sa model class mo? Nalilito ako. Mataas lang yung frequency. Pinakamataas ang frequency. Ah, sige po. Any question pa? Dito. Ma'am, di ba yung kukunin sa model class yung pinakamataas? Ano po? Ano sabi niya? Yung kukunin po sa model class yung pinakamataas sa frequency. Apo. Ang frequency na pinakamataas dito ay 12. Ano pa po ang Any question pa? If none, so pwede na kayong una muna mag-download ng modules. Make sure to download your modules. Okay, sinend ko naman na sa Math Overall. And then after that, pwede na kayong mag-worksheet. So para mas madali kayo makapag-worksheet, isi-save ko kasi itong video na to. Then, i-upload ko siya. Pag in-upload ko siya, so pwede niyong balikan yung lesson. And then, after that, makakapag-worksheet kayo. And yung mali nyo sa worksheet, please pakitama po sa inyong quiz. Most of the time, nalilito pa rin talaga yung iba. Pero kung susundan nyo po yung video natin na to, hindi po kayo malilito. Yung puso ako dito, naiinip na gusto niya nang matapos ako magturo. <laughs> so let me clear all the drawings if there are no questions. Uh, we'll end this. Then yung modal class, kasi siya yung pinakamataas na, na what do you call this, na frequency and then nag-subtract. You get the lower boundary. In the interval. And then, you solve for the mode. And the mode is 57. I'll stop recording this.